assalamu alaikum students welcome back to another youtube tutorial from naim bukhari youtube channel so today i'm just outside so let me know how you how this scene looks like if it's good so i will try to make more lectures following such kind of background okay cool uh, so moving forward if you are new on my channel so subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to hear about more videos so today we have uh, a very interesting topic which is regarding scope of epidemiology means how epidemiology can be adopted or opt in a practical settings what is the scope what are the opportunities in epidemiology we will discuss in detail so first thing um, is like that in previous lecture we discussed uh, types of epidemiology the three major types the first one uh, descriptive epidemiology the second one analytical epidemiology and the third one modern epidemiology we discussed all the all the three types in detail now uh, we are going to discuss scope of epidemiology the first important scope of epidemiology is like epidemiology is a data driven science means epidemiology is based upon data means you have a lot of data or you need to generate uh, a lot of data and then you people will be generating outcomes on the behalf of uh, collected data that's why epidemiology is called as data driven science and it has a lot of scope in uh, data sciences as well another important thing epidemiology is a practical field means epidemiology usually believes on practical knowledge once you are proposing a particular hypothesis epidemiology is is essential to test that hypothesis without epidemiological studies you cannot test that hypothesis or you cannot accept or reject that, that hypothesis once we will be applying epidemiological tools we will be accepting or rejecting a particular hypothesis that's why we can say epidemiology is also responsible or has scope in hypothesis testing further epidemiology is a practical field and other important scope of epidemiology includes like epidemiology has scope in behavioral sciences epidemiology has a uh, scope in physics ergonomics and similarly epidemiology has scope in uh, medical sciences and epidemiology has a wider scope or a greater scope in public health as well as well you cannot manage public health without knowing epidemiological tools knowing epidemiological tools is very important to understand public health that's we can say epidemiology has important scope in data sciences public health behavioral sciences ergonomics physics medical sciences as well as epidemiological is a practical field where we can prove some knowledge or some hypothesis that's why epidemiology is a very important and if you want to excel your career in epidemiology you will be having a lot of opportunities just to collect the data suppose if you are interested in data sciences you can uh, excel your career or you can grab opportunities related to data collection in the field suppose if you are conducting a particular survey research and you need to collect that data from a particular population at that time you will be uh, having or creating some opportunities to collect the data and you people can engage number of population for subject data collection or for uh, you can even uh, engage number of research or emerging scientist or you can uh, a new researcher for the data collection and after that you need to analyze that data so there are a lot of opportunities and you need uh, if you are expert in data analysis you can analyze that one at your own behalf so similarly there will be some opportunities for the data analysis to process that data to analyze that data another opportunity in epidemiology is data interpretation based on collected data and analyzed data you need to generate some outcomes and those those outcomes cannot be generated if you are not expert to uh, interpret that data so there there are lot of opportunities in data uh, interpretation segment as well further i also already uh, mentioned like epidemiology has opportunities in or a scope in hypothesis testing it's mean if you are expert in hypothesis testing there are varieties of hypothesis usually researchers propose so if you are expert then you can uh, test that hypothesis either that is simple hypothesis empirical hypothesis or that is a, a statistical hypothesis or any other or a complex hypothesis you can test that on the behalf of epidemiological data so we can say epidemiology has a lot of scope in hypothesis testing domain as well further epidemiology has how epidemiology has a scope in public health in public health if you will be assessing or ensuring the health of a particular population you need to follow or apply epidemiological tools 
in what are the epidemiological tools epidemiological tools include uh, survey research or data collection or you will be having questionnaires okay or you will be going for public interviews by going for public interviews or by uh, getting responses upon certain questionnaires you can get the public responses or you can collect that data after the data collection what you people will be doing means after the data collection you can analyze or interpret that data to generate outcomes and then you can uh, define or declare that one the population health status is poor average or good or best so these outcomes or interpretation interpretation regarding public health only can be done if we people will be using epidemiological tools like questionnaire or like public interviews the major one okay and there are a variety of epidemiological tools which we follow on the behalf of chosen research methodology another important scope of epidemiology is in uh, after the public health is in research methodology you there are a lot of research methodologies which are ad adopted specifically for epidemiology so epidemiological research has a greater impact and a wider scope in comparison to rest of method, uh, research methodologies because epidemiological research uh, provides a way forward how to uh, overcome an epidemic or how to mitigate or how to uh, overcome or how to devise therapeutic strategies for a particular epidemic or for a particular disease i already explained how you can uh, devise prevention strategy or how you can devise therapeutic strategies uh, for an epidemic or for a disease by using epidemiological tools so this was all about today lecture regarding the scope of epidemiology means epidemiology has a lot of scope in uh, data sciences in research methodology in um, medical sciences in public health in physics in ergonomics or in other fields as well so if you want to excel your career you can do uh, by choosing epidemiology so stay blessed if you